Hi, I'm Mike from Scoutadelic, and how can you pop your personal bubble? Find out. You're going to add this in post, aren't you? Otherwise, I'm going to look really silly. Hi, I'm Mike from Scoutadelic, and this month and this year, do something different, spice up your scouting, and subscribe to the channel. It's free to do so. There are over a thousand videos of ideas, games, activities campfire songs, you name it, even online activities that there's still badges for as well. So go and click subscribe, it's for free and try to get to 10,000 subscribers. So today's activity is called Pop Your Personal Bubble. These days the world has got a lot of distractions. Now if you're walking from A to B, so say for example I'm going into town, sometimes I zone out because I know that route so many times that I know how to get from A to B that I forget what I've actually done during that, um, that journey. So it could be that I'm listening to music and I don't really see anything and I'm distracted because of the music. Also mobile phones, nowadays there are many a time, and I hate to say this, many a time I'm actually on social media whilst crossing a road, which shouldn't happen. I shouldn't be doing this and I know that it's wrong to do it, but I'm distracted by that because I think I know from A to B. Thankfully, a car has yet to hit me and there are times where I actually realise and stop myself and put my phone back in my pocket and keep on walking. Nowadays, I try to keep my phone in my pocket and I don't listen to any music whatsoever because music will stop you from hearing anything outside. Being on your phone, well, you're staring at a screen, not on your surroundings. So this activity, is trying to pop your personal bubble by advising that everyone has their own bubble that we're all in on. So it could be that we're listening to music, it could be that we're doing something else, it could be that we're distracted. Sometimes even without mobile phone or music, getting from A to B, I zone out because I know that route again. All right? So this activity actually allows young people to understand about a personal bubble and distractions but also what they should be looking out for. Whether that is on the streets, on the roads, or in places like railway stations or whatever. So you've got to split your team into groups. So if you've already got them into patrols or sixes or anything like that, then that's great, okay? So you want to mark a route from one door in your hall to the other door. So it could be like a, a zigzaggy, it could be a curve, it could be a... Try not to make it a straight line, make it obviously and chalk it out. The group that is going first is staying outside and the others on the inside, what they're trying to do is they're going to do a few activities, all right? So it could be that um, they're doing star jumps, they're doing... So split them up so they're all not doing the same thing, okay? So star jumps, colouring in, um, you know, um, playing a game, doing different activities all dotted around the hall, okay? But not on the path. So they're, they're out and about. It's a bit like, and think of this uh, for obviously my uh, generation, of the generation game. You know where there's the little thing that's moving along and you get to see like a cuddly toy and things like that. This is, this is what is gonna happen. But instead of the conveyor belt going past, it's actually the groups are going to go past along this path, not realising that that's what they're having to do, all right? So they start outside, they come in, and their instructions are that they've got to get from one side of the hall to the other by using the path, okay? And then exit out of the hall, all right? The exit is possibly the main thing. So if you've only got one door in and out of the hall, well your path's going to go around and back so they go out. Because you don't want the other groups who are actually doing the activities and all the different things and distractions to actually know that that's what they've got to remember and keep a track of. Alright? So, group comes in, they go around, they go out. But whilst they come in, you're playing loud music as well. Because again, if they're listening to music, they might not see something, they might not hear anything, they might not notice anything, and stuff like that, all right? So, they come in, music, all these people doing the activities, they go around the path, or, you know, from one side of the hall to the other, and out the other door. And then, the leader's there with a bit of paper, and they've got uh, about a minute or 30 seconds to write as many different 
activities or things that they've seen out and about. So shove in a cuddly toy if you really want to. All right, and then get another group out, put them back in doing some activities. Um, try to make it so that actually they don't know all the activities that are going on. Maybe getting uh, leaders included in that as well. So maybe get one person doing an activity each and then they come in, do the whole thing, go out. So they don't know that they have to write down all of these things as well. And because otherwise, if they knew that that was the point of the activity, they'd be cheating. Come on, we'd all know this. They'd be like, oh, well, I'll remember that I'm, I'm skipping or I'll remember that I'm doing this or I'll remember that I'm doing that, okay? So they go in, they do the same thing. And then at the end, once you've all of them have done that um, like sort of route, then explain to them about a personal bubble. And that sometimes we can get distracted by mobile phones, music, just getting from A to B. Sometimes we just don't want to talk to anyone, so we just hide in our bubble because we want to get from A to B and we don't care what anyone else is doing. Which in some cases, we should. Because what if it is a car and we're crossing the road, all right? We're trying to get from A to B, but we've done it before. Example of me with my mobile phone. I'm on it. I'm not really looking at what could actually hurt me. And it's all about safety, okay? What you could also do as a separate, uh, an extra thing is, now that you know about it, do the same thing and get the groups to go around at a slower pace and see if they actually can remember most, if not all. You'll find that um, most of the groups will only name a few things, but then if they do it a second time, they'll actually spot things. Like there's a teddy bear over there. Why is there a teddy bear? You also find this, um, a lot of um, car drivers, I'm not one of them, may I point out, um, who maybe speed. They go on a speeding course and one of them is they have to watch a video. And on that video, there is a teddy bear or a gorilla or whatever. But because you're watching a set another thing, you miss that the gorilla actually appears on screen or not. There's a lot of videos like that where, you know, you have someone trampolining and you've got to count how many times the person's trampolining, but something wanders on the screen, off the screen, and then they ask, did you see the gorilla? Okay, similar situation. But that's a really cool activity. It tells them that actually, there are distractions and if you are going across a road or going into like a busy airport or, or railway station or whatever, you've got to be focused on what your surroundings are like and hopefully it might help them out and stop them from using their phone when they're crossing the road. Hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. If you have then give it a like and share it around and I'll see you again soon for another one of these. Bye!